so this time we are going to go through smack croto and follow the yellow big road with i think eminem so there's a yellow big road in the yellow big road there i can remember that song from my childhood yeah so there's uh, that and then i have already copied this uh, ip address and what we can do now go to the terminal and start a nmap scan as usual and paste the ip address over there and then we get a port 80 meaning there's a website and 22 meaning there's ssh so what we are going to do is go to go master and then i'm going to edit this one quickly with our new ip address and it will run go master on us and let's wait okay so we get a response saying may okay so with the e tag i got that one and then uh, the following emails are being displayed using our new and improved email to web software allowing you to view your emails in hassle free way not all attachments must be downloaded w gate or you can simply right click and yes for instance this one so there's a pcap file here so you have to download this one so you can save that one and due to exponential growth in our platform then thus the need for more systems we need to migrate everything from our current one nine to two network to the 10 networks so the previous engineer had some done some network traces so hopefully they will give you idea about systems how systems are addressed okay so it was sent from net admin to net network from jake so jake should be the administrator and there's network migration and i tried uh, downloading the file but an anomaly in that hash file could you please tell me what happened here to j can all that i you see uh, there's the first message right as the previous developer had found a bug in email to web software and he has been unable to fix could you please download the attachments with wget until further notice thank you okay so if we go to see the inspectors uh, yeah let's inspect piece by piece then and uh, okay so what do we have here so there are some and there is another user here so that uh, that user is trod i think yeah if i can see correct yeah that's trod and that's included as a comment over here so we have two users two possible users like trod and jake okay so let's keep that one in mind and uh, if we can see the page source it to be great as well right yeah nothing much unless for this comment okay so what we can do is uh, go to Wireshark and open this file and then you can follow along the TCP stream to see what do we have here. Okay, so there's a login.php which the post where a post request was sent and the host was development.snag.th. You can add this one to your host file and uh, press this blah blah like and then there's a username and it's called help desk and the password is apparently change me now okay so there's that and uh, for those who don't know how to uh, add to the host file this is how it's done so you can go over here and you have to add the new ip address so this is this will uh, basically resolve your ip address to the new to the words the verbal uh and you call that url so i will add that one here and save that and you can go to this login.php under development.snack.thm right so i'm going to copy this uh password for now because i don't want to go come back here 
and type that one again so i'm going to go to development.smack.thm and i am present with two files admin and .php and login.php let's go to login.php and let's type help desk and paste their password and login inside so we get to enter a command and the command can be anything right yeah and we can either log out or send so this is basically a php file so meaning that we can we might be able to get a reverse shell using this one using php so if you go to reverse shell cheat cheat by uh, pen test monkey we get php f sub open and all that so right so we can use this one instead so what we can do is i have already pasted this one over here so i quit my ip address so you can go to the admin page and then set this one up like this and we better set up a reverse shell with this one as well so we can use nc nlvp one two three four on the port and and listening on that one so let's send the command and see if we get yes so we got it for the from the first time so it might not work from the first time as well so if that happens just uh, you can simply uh, reset your vm okay so what we can see is so there's a user called jake and you might be wondering what we had here like uh, simple things like uh, the same things that we had over here the admin.php and uh, that login.php files so let's keep it simple like we have a user called jake and let's see what we have inside the folder jake not lake right it should be jake Okay, we can't access because we do not have enough permissions so let's see if we can run sudo with this one no absolutely not and uh, we can use find what permissions are imposed on uh, like this uid bit on root directory with this command so like uh, the, the type would be F and we can send it to that black hole inside Linux dev null. Okay, let's see what we have here. It takes some time, meaning like uh, it took some time, but uh, it didn't give out anything. So we can again see what are the contents of the cron tab so see if there are any cron jobs running and uh, normal stuff right yeah so and there's something else bin cat and cat can uh, send ptj rsa public backup and uh, it is sent into jx ssh authorized key so a cron job is running uh, at, uh, at the time interval and uh, it will write the contents of this backup file into jx authorized keys so meaning uh, if we can get our key inside this public backup file and uh, we might be able to get access through this so what we can do is uh, if you want you can see what are the permissions we have like yeah, we can read and write this file so what i can do now is uh, i'm already inside smack folder so i'm going to quickly clear this one up and i have to end this one as well just for the sake of it like uh, it will uh, reduce a load on the network so once you have finished scanning and all that you can simply do that and then uh, 
I will use SSH keygen and send it to file and I'm going to set it as IDRC and it already exists I'm going to override this one and I will not give a passphrase for this one okay cool so it's already generated now we can see that there's RSA ID dot public okay so what we can do now is uh, just that right so I'm going to copy this content over here and I'm going to echo this to this file at opt backups jkid dot backup so all right we just wrote that uh, content into this one so meaning uh, we might be able to log in as jake ssh as jake at our ip address and then let's set the file to idrsa so we have shared the public key with this uh, empty machine so using our idrc keys we can uh, login inside once this uh, cron job runs and then uh, overrides the home jkssh over authorized keys file with our public key so meaning uh, the machine will uh, accept us uh, but i think uh, we are stuck over here because of this one so i'm going to set refresh this one like so and uh, let's retry might take some time uh, Okay, I think I did the wrong tunnel maybe. Yes, so we are back. Okay, so we are inside, I think, yes. Yeah, we are inside the machine as Jake now. So you can simply view what are the files available here. And you get the user.txt file over here. And you have enough permissions to view this one as well. Cool. so yeah in this one so what we can do now is as usual let's try to run sudo l on this one and it says all can run without a password user bin apt get so we can go back here and uh, go to gtfo bins and look for apt get here so we have this one if the binary is allowed and the super user sudo does not drop elevator privileges and may not be used to access the file system and so on so you can read this one when you have some leisure time so then the file exists update command is or actually executed so i'm going to use this one and we can come over here think uh, sudo apt get bin sh yes so i'm going to get that one and we are already inside as root so id would be root yeah so you can uh, upgrade your shell if you want so python 3 and then the command and import pty and then pty spawn and then send bin sh inside this one so so you have to hit the forward slash as well bin dot sh or bash whatever you may prefer so and send this one. i think i have to choose the other single colon right yes because because why because why that's why so we are now so this is where i got wrong here 
okay like uh, mistakes have one anyway moving on like we are inside the temporary folder inside root so what we can do is and go to cd root and if you see there's root.txt and that gives you the root flag so if you haven't uh, subscribed it let's subscribe and not liked it let's like and once you can if you can't if you haven't so you can do that simply in the next video that you view in our channel so until then peace out